Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to have a dynamic trend line on a chart. This is a sales chart which shows the sales for different people and the orange line is the target line. So let's say if I change the target now to 35,000, the target line is going to move automatically. Let's see how to do this. Here is the sales data we have from the different people and this is the target value that we want to show on the chart. Generally, one would select the data and we'll go to insert and pick the chart type we like. This shows the sales data. To add a dynamic target line, we need to prep the data first. So let's delete this chart. And now let's prep our data. So on column D, let's add a cell name called target. And in that, we are going to refer it to the cell C2. I'm going to fix it by clicking on F4. And then just drag it down. So for each salesperson, we now have the target value mentioned, which is linked to cell C2. So let's say I change it to 32,000. The corresponding target for each salesperson is going to change. Once we've prepped this data, we can now create our chart. So let's select all the three columns. And now we can insert our 2D column chart. This shows the sales and target, which is dynamic. So if I change it to, let's say, 35,000, I get the target mentioned by the orange. But this is not as clear. So we could change the chart type for the target. To do that, all we need to do is click on one of the target bars, right click, and change the chart type to a line. Now let's put some arrows on the edges. To do that, we can click on the target line and let's double click it. Again, let's just select the line, paint box section, and select the begin arrow type and the end arrow type. It would be great if you could also mention the target value. To do that, we can select the line and let's just select the first marker. Again, Right click and let's just put add data label. Great. So we can just select the data label now, go to this section. In the label options, we can say the label position as above. So let's go to home tab and make this bold. And let's just change the chart title to sales. We can hide the column D, but before doing that, let's go to the chart, right click, and select data. And out here, we need to click the box, show data in hidden rows and columns, and say OK. And now, we can just hide the column D. So we now have a sales chart with a dynamic target line. So let's say I change the target line to 40,000. The target line is going to move and the data is going to show what our target is. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.